But first, at 5.30, campaign 2014 is officially in the history books. And today, after a long night of tallying votes, Massachusetts has a new governor-elect. Democrat Martha Coakley and Republican Charlie Baker ran a very tight race. But in the end, Baker was elected to the state's top political office. Certainly for me, it is the honor of a lifetime and something that I will cherish every single day. Coakley conceded the race this morning after waiting until the results were officially final. And here's a look at those results. You can see Charlie Baker won by a narrow margin. Eyewitness News anchor Shannon Heggie is live in studio now with more. Mike and Kelly, at one point last night, the two candidates had the exact same amount of votes. And even as the numbers changed throughout the night, the two candidates remained neck and neck. In the end, though, Coakley called Baker at 8.15 this morning to congratulate him on his win and addressed her supporters in Somerville later this morning. It was an election night much like a roller coaster ride. We were up, we were down, we were in, we were out. Uh, a little bit like a Dr. Seuss tale last night with those numbers coming in. But speaking to her supporters Wednesday morning, Democrat Martha Coakley thanked them for their hard work throughout the campaign and said even though voters chose Republican Charlie Baker, she feels like they both won. I feel that we both were challenged, and I believe we both learned from this race about ourselves and about Massachusetts. And that is why we both won in this race. We both raised issues, I think, that are important to voters in Massachusetts. Standing alongside current Governor Deval Patrick, today Governor-elect Charlie Baker also weighed in on his narrow win, saying it's a clear message from voters that they want to see a bipartisan effort at the State House. I think the fact that it was such a close race speaks to the sort of nature of the electorate overall, which is that for the most part you have an electorate that sits on both sides of both sides of the fence, but in the end, what they're going to expect out of a new administration is that we work collaboratively across the aisle and with all people of goodwill to get, to get stuff done. During the campaign, Baker vowed to hold the lid on taxes, increase the number of charter schools, and use tax credits to reward businesses that hire welfare recipients and veterans. Baker is the former CEO of Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare and a top official in the administrations of Republican governors William Weld and Paul Cellucci. He lost his first bid for governor to Deval Patrick four years ago. I'm Shannon Heggie, Eyewitness News.